Old West Saloon Stories Aside from the dark, legendary stories about Old West Saloons being a place full of drunk and violent outlaws and a place for gambling, Old West Saloons have some colorful stories too. The painted ladies who have the strong will to wear loud makeup and dye their hair to lure patrons. So they stay longer and bring so much profit. At the end of this video, you will discover some reasons why beautiful women of the Old West had to do this job. So hang on tight, let's have some fun. Most saloons in the Old West started just by selling liquors like beer. Over time, when the competition started to grow fast, saloon owners added more entertainment like gambling, like faro and poker. But boys will be boys. Most outlaws and cowboys would often ask for girls to be around whenever they go to a saloon. Later on, the saloon became a house of companionship, a place to go amid loneliness. Saloons have distinguished two types of bad girls. First are the worst, and second are the dance hall women. They are not prostitutes, but most call them respectable. Generally, a dance hall women's job is to brighten the evening of many lonely men. Did you know that in the Old West, the ratio of population between men and women is 3 to 1? In California in the 1850s, 90% of the population are male. The worst types are said to be the painted ladies, who make their living by offering paid sex. A saloon or dance hall girl's job was to brighten the evenings of many lonely men of the western towns. In the Old West, men usually outnumbered women by at least 3 to 1, sometimes more. As was the case in California in 1850, where 90% of the population was male. This explains why men are starved for female companionship. Saloon girls have an important role for their patrons, that is, to sing and dance for them, basically to make them stay longer at the saloon. Most of the time, the patrons would buy them a drink too, when they feel very generous or when they just want to impress the saloon girls. But it means more profit for the saloon owner. In Dodge City's north side of Front Street, which was the respectable side where both saloon girls and gambling were barred and featured music and billiards as the chief amusements to accompany drinking. In Dodge City, saloon girls and gambling because they are commonly the source of trouble between cowboys or outlaws. Did you know that most saloon girls were fugitives from farms and mills? They were enticed by high wages displayed on posters. They earn $10 per week and on top are their commission for the beer their patron buys them. Who would not like easy work and fine clothing, huh? Among them are widows who need to put food on the table for their children, but some are women with good character who only wish to make a living. Saloon girls usually wear short, ruffled skirts with bright colors. In the Old West days, a shirt that drops on the knee is considered scandalous. Overall, their short skirts are to seduce men. They are decorated with sequins. Under their skirts, they wear silk or net stockings held up by garters. Their arms and shoulders are bare. But why were they called painted ladies? This is because this girl dares to wear bright colored makeup and dyed hair. Though they look alluring, they are tough too. They often carry pistols and keep them on their boots or tuck them between their breasts. This is their way to make the cowboys behave. We cannot judge these ladies just by the way they were required to dress. Most of them were good, according to the cowboys they talk and dance with. They are kept very well. Anyone who treats them bad, they will be treated as a social outcast. If they insult anyone, the man can be killed. There is not much difference between the women who entered prostitution in the times of the Old West and today. Women had very limited opportunities for work in the 19th century than today. With a very slim chance of getting a decent job, those abandoned women of fugitives have no choice but to grab every opportunity that comes. They need to support their families. You have just discovered Old West Saloon stories. If you have no idea what the saloon looks like, watch the next video.